Good morning. It is 8 o'clock right now. Thank you for joining us on Take Two. Christine has the morning off. Time to break down the top stories of the day. Well, a deadly trend continues on Hawaii's roads after a pedestrian was killed in Kaka'ako. This morning, a trolley driver remains in police custody. Officers say the trolley was making a left turn onto Cook Street from Oahe Street yesterday afternoon when it hit a 76-year-old man who was in a crosswalk. A witness said he saw the pedestrian being dragged underneath the trolley as it was turning. The pedestrian was pronounced dead at the scene, and right now we have the driver of the trolley in custody. What is he in custody for? Uh, he's in custody right now for a negligent homicide in the first degree. Was he under the influence? At this point, we believe that um, alcohol and or drugs may be a factor. According to police, the pedestrian is a Honolulu resident. People were on the open air bus when it happened. We tried reaching out to the company that owns it, but we haven't been able to get a hold of anyone there. And good news for Pua Lane residents. The state health department says it has found the source of the raw sewage that has been leaking onto the private road for the last couple of months. The state says it has notified the owners of four homes connected to the broken sewer line, and they have agreed to fix the pipe right away to stop any more sewage from flowing onto the street and into storm drains. No word yet on if any fines will be imposed. Well, new data is revealing how bad Hawaii's teacher shortage really is, and it appears to be getting worse. In a meeting with the Board of Education, the HSTA discussed the teacher shortage, which increased slightly this year with more than 1,000 vacancies. Teacher retention has decreased, and the number of teachers leaving for the mainland increased 71% in the last six years. The problem is, is that there's no shortcuts. You can't fix the teacher shortage crisis without teachers, and we cannot fix this problem unless we have competitive salaries. We have got to make sure that teachers in Hawaii are compensated the same way they are in our neighboring districts. There's, and we've got to stop the gimmicks. We've got to stop looking for all these little short-term uh, solutions. There was a ballot question to fund public schools by increasing certain property taxes, but the Supreme Court killed it before the general election. Well, a pair of exotic animals got confiscated at the Daniel K. Inouye Airport in Honolulu. They were Bengal cats brought in from Seattle, Washington back in September, but were labeled as domestic cats. The state agriculture department says Bengal cats aren't allowed here because they threaten our native birds and they can carry a parasite known to kill Hawaiian monk seals. The owners uh, most likely weren't aware of the exact breed of their animals, um, weren't aware of the rules that we have in the state of Hawaii and were bringing them in as pets, as domestic short hair cats. Um, and it was the staff at the animal quarantine office that alerted us to it and our staff reported it that they were suspected hybrids. The cat's owners will not be fined, but the cats must return to where they came from. Bengal cats are kept as pets on the mainland, but are illegal here in Hawaii. Well, the nation's largest brute beauty retailer is expanding here in Hawaii. Ut Ulta Beauty is opening its fourth Hawaii location, and that's happening in Kapolei this morning. A grand opening celebration begins at 10 o'clock this morning. Just like the makeup chain's other locations, you'll find thousands of beauty products from more than 500 brands. Ulta sells makeup, perfume, skin, and hair care products, and it also has a full-service salon. The company operates more than 1,000 stores across the country. Well, what better way to kick off the weekend than with some big savings? Our Aloha Friday Philip promotion is back, and you can save 50 cents per gallon at this week's mystery location, which is no longer a mystery. It's in Hawaii Kai. We sent Chris Latronic there to check things out this morning, and he rejoins us live. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's up, Kelly? How are you doing? Uh, we're here on, at Aloha Gas, Aloha Island Mart in Hawaii Kai Town Center. Just got a new Musu B, fresh and hot here at the Aloha Island Mart. And look, if you're looking for a job, Aloha Petroleum, they're hiring right now. So you can be gas station attendant, also sales associate, in order to get double that pay rate if you want maintenance technician. So always some good vibes. Also, if you're trying to get one job, Musu B's and 50 cents off the gallon. And we're also giving away a few tanks of gas. And we're here with our next recipient of one of them, Wayne Her Rada, how you doing, Wayne? Fine. Good morning. And uh, so tell me, how you find out about today's promotion? Uh, on the TV. What, what were you watching? KHON. <laughs> Channel 2. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, when we saw you, you had a pretty empty tank. Tell me, how much did you save on uh, gas today? Uh, probably $12. 
twelve dollars. Yeah. It was like forty two dollars. Fifty two dollars yeah. actually. Well, Fifty one dollars. Fifty one dollars. Yeah. So whew. So you saved some money today. Tell oh, me what yeah. what's what's going on today? It's gonna be a good weekend. What do you plan to do with that savings? Uh buy beer. <laughs> Sounds like me over here. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be a good weekend. Yeah. And uh, what, what do you have planned for this weekend? Uh, watch football and surf. Right. I think I'm going to be cruising with you maybe <laughs> this weekend. But, wow, love the Tamba hat. Thank you for coming right. and uh, promoting and helping our promotion. Right. You have a wonderful day. Anything you want to say to the people out there? No. That's I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Mahalo. You could be just like Wayne. If you come over here, you can save money on gas and maybe get one more free tank of gas right here at Aloha Island Mart. Aloha Gas and Aloha Island Mart. This is on Keahole Street um, in Hawaii Kai. This is near Roy's Costco. It's going to be the first right once you turn down Keahole. So just drive with caution. There's a little bit of traffic as you're heading into town. So why not stop over here in Hawaii Kai, get some snacks over here at Aloha Island Mart, and save money off of gas and maybe even get a free tank of Gas, right? Yeah. right on let's send it back into the studio wow chris i think you found your spirit animal very similar interests and repping the tomba hat kawaii company love it all right well coming up next thanksgiving less than a week away so we're getting you ready with foodland that's what we join ross That's right, we are getting ready for Gobble Gobble Day less than a week away, and of course, everybody's stressing about, about cooking that perfect turkey, but folks, don't worry, we got you covered here at Food Lion Farms here in Ala Moana. We'll have turkey talk in just a bit. Welcome back. Well, like mother, like child, a mother's love life may influence how many partners her child has, a new study claims. A research team at Ohio State University found that mothers may have certain characteristics that make them better or worse at relationships. Their children can inherit and learn those characteristics using them in their own relationships. The study also found that people whose mothers had multiple relationships over time were likely to do the same especially when their mothers have lived in the same home with different partners over the years. Well, we're getting you ready for Thanksgiving today, which, can you believe it? It's less than a week away. Now, whether you're cooking a turkey for the first time or you're a seasoned veteran, preparing that perfect bird can sometimes be tricky. So we sent our Ross Shimabuku out to Foodland Farms in Ala Moana for some turkey tips. Hey, Ross. That's right, we are getting ready for a gobble gobble day. And just for full disclosure, Kelly, I have never cooked a turkey. I've been called a turkey, but never cooked one. But for those of you who are stressing out, trying to cook that perfect bird, don't worry, just take a deep breath and relax. Exhale, because we're at Foodland Farms with Keone Chang, corporate chef here, and he is here to save the day. Now, Keone, yeah. the big question is, everybody got the birdie in the freezer. Yeah. When's the best time to start defrosting the bird? You know, to get this all started, you wanna get your frozen bird out of the freezer and into your refrigerator three to four days before you wanna roast it. So I'd say this weekend's a great time to put it in your refrigerator and let it defrost. It takes that long to turn this block into uh -huh. a fully thought out bird. So what are the most common mistakes people make? A uh, couple things. I mean, first, people, they underestimate the defrost and they panic. They throw it inside the sink and they put it in warm water. That's kind of a no-no because it doesn't defrost evenly and you run into safety issues. Um, the other thing that I really like to do to get a really awesome bird is take the bird and after it's defrosted, I put it in the fridge overnight and let it mm -hmm. air dry because I want to get all that moisture off. All that moisture on there doesn't help it brown. So if you start with a dry bird, then it will crisp up and brown nicely. And then right now, tell so, us what you're doing. Yeah, so now it, making all the we don't stuff. recommend stuffing a bird with stuffing anymore because it's a safety issue. It takes so long for the stuffing to cook and all those juices run at risk for food contamination. So we just say, make your stuffing recipe and bake it in a pan so you're making more like a dressing. And then what I do is here to get flavor though, uh -huh. is I'll turn it around real quick so you guys can all see, but I'm stuffing this with carrot, celery, and onion. So that's basically mirepoix. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, lemons in here. We got some garlic that's gonna go in here, and then I put some fresh thyme, and that's gonna help really give some great flavor to the turkey, helping me make it really, really juicy. So now I get that all in there. We're gonna season it. Now this is all dry, right? I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, olive oil, on, or you could do butter. I'm gonna just kind of give it a nice massage. In, you know, just think pertinent. about this is the suntan lotion. We're gonna <laughs> get that going. 
Then we're gonna put a little bit of salt. Now so season this thing liberally. People are always afraid of the salt, but just think about it. The only, this whole bird's only gets salt on the outside, so you, you're not gonna over season it. And then pepper. Then you're gonna turn your oven to 325, 350 roughly, and then you're gonna put this in there and you're gonna let it roast. And every 30 minutes or so, you're gonna turn it into the oven so that it can evenly brown. Now when you wanna check for doneness, besides this uh -huh. pokey thing here that pops yeah. up, this doesn't always work. So, you know, you can't always trust this. So I have a meat thermometer that I, I totally recommend everyone getting one. And you wanna check it, you insert it into the, into the breast, into the thickest part of the breast, and you will look for 100 and, 60, 160, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you check the leg, the thickest part of the leg, and you're looking for 180. That's for food safety. Now, I know you use that, but is there a general term in terms of how long it should be in the oven? You know, on all of the, even our tur our signature, my cut turkey on the back uh -huh. says how many minutes per pound. And that's a good guide, but really, it's so rough that most people will overcook the turkey if they do that. Okay. You're better off buying one of these. If you don't have one, the other trick that people do is you, when you're roasting the turkey, if the, there's juices that'll come out in the cavity, right? Yeah. When the, ca the juices run clear, or if you pierce the thick part of the leg and the juices run clear, then you're done. If and it's the, pink, let it go a little bit longer. And the big thing, if, if people don't want to deal with this hassle and they don't have time to cook a turkey, they can. Oh, well, you come to our stores, we're selling all kinds of turkey. We sell turkey dinners. We have a regular turkey dinner. We've got a premium turkey dinner. We've got uh, our little high stakes store that's doing smoked guava turkeys. And then we have our chefs in Ala Moana here that are doing a very special curated menu. So you have like four options to get completely finished cooked meals to go. Chef, Chef Kehoni Chang, Corver Chef. And I, I, one thing I liked about it, he's yeah. like, the salt. Yeah. Gotta have the salt, lots of salt. <laughs> and of course, if you don't worry, because we're gonna talk turkey, and then now, next in the later in take two, we're gonna talk about how to make that perfect side dish, yep. because it's all about the sides, especially here in Hawaii. Kelly, send it back to you. Thanks, Ross. Oh, I see that salt bay happening. I like it. Add some flavor while adding flavor. Also, Foodland, you guys, this is what I save my, my, cut, my cut e cards for, my little coupons. You guys, free hen turkeys for up to 16 pounds. So, hey, Foodland, the place to be. All right, well, coming up next, we're going to break down the stories that you need to know about today, and I'll break down your weekend weather forecast. You're watching Take Two. Welcome back to Take Two. It is 8.18 right now. Here are the stories you need to know for today. Negotiations continue today between union leaders and Marriott and Keoya. A hotel worker strike has now dragged on for 40 days. Dentist Lily Geyer is expected to return to the stand today for her cross-examination. She's on trial for manslaughter after the death of a three-year-old patient at her office in 2013. For the first time, little fire ants have been found at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Crews are working to eradicate the pests and determine if they have spread to other parts of the park. And the city has hired private security guards to patrol nine parks known for having homeless encampments. It's all part of a pilot program, and if it's effective, it may be expanded to other parks. And for today's weather, what you need to know, it's going to be a little bit cloudier today. Partly to mostly cloudy skies is with us. We have once again low clouds and high clouds, so these are going to be with us. It looks like through the next couple of days, extra cloud cover as well as an uptick in showers. So, as you're heading out the door, we're seeing really dry conditions across the board right now. I would take an umbrella along with you, especially if you're going to be out for the windward sides. Overall, though, very comfortable conditions are with us. Our northeasterly winds picking up, going to be blowing up to about 25 miles an hour. When the winds are up, humidity levels are down, and we're already seeing that 68% humidity. So really comfortable conditions temperature-wise in the mid to upper 70s, so pretty comfortable and pretty similar to what we have been seeing the past couple of days, maybe just slightly warmer. But for today, what we have in store, increasing trade winds. So they're a little bit weaker to start off the day, but they're going to be back and breezy. It looks like by later this morning. This new high pressure system is filling into the northwest, and that's going to be dominating our winds. It looks like through the weekend. Now, what we also have is an upper level trough, and I've been telling you about this the past couple of days because forecast models were really showing it potentially having big impacts on our weather. 
as of right now, it is still looking like it's going to be impacting us, but that trough maybe not as strong as it was looking like. So we're still expecting plenty of rainfall, but maybe not as much of the flooding conditions. There is still a chance we could see flood advisories going into effect. Download our K22 mobile app. We'll send out push alerts if that does happen. But as you can see, for what we're seeing right now, definitely not the case and definitely not needed. But as the day continues and we see a lot more instability with that trough moving through, that could change. Now, in terms of the rainfall, again, not too much going on. The best chance for showers is definitely going to be over the windward sides for today as our trades pick up. And speaking of trades picking up, surfers, the earlier the better to head on out. Not too much of the glassy conditions that we saw the last two mornings because our trades did already return, but they're going to be breezy by this afternoon. So the earlier the better. Up to 20 foot bases for the North Shore today, up to 12 for our Western Shores as this new Northwest swell comes through. It's going to be on the decline though through the evening. Eastern Shores, two to four feet. There's an uptick over there thanks to the fact that our winds are here and so strong. High surf advisory for most north and west facing shores, boaters small craft advisory in effect, and then we do have about a 30% chance of rain sticking in our forecast through tomorrow with partly to mostly cloudy skies, sunshine and trade winds Sunday through the rest of the week. All right, coming up next, the Hawaii International Film Festival continues through the weekend, and one of the upcoming films is putting a spotlight on a group of our North Shore surfers. Tell you all about it when we come back. Welcome back. Well, a new documentary is putting the spotlight on a group of young North Shore surfers. They were teens at the time, and they were always gathered in a small house just steps away from the infamous, famous Pipeline Surf Spot. Now, they're known as Momentum Generation. With more on what the movie is about and where you can catch its premiere, we're joined now by pro surfer Benji Weatherly. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so excited to have you here because the Momentum Generation, right? You guys are just so great. And now there's this great film. So tell us all about it. What can we expect? Well, it uh, all started kind of with me having a house right at Pipeline. I got lucky enough, my family lived across the street when I was 12, got the house right at Pipeline next to Jack Johnson, and we were best friends growing up. And the Kelly Slaters, Rob Machados, the Shane Dorians, and all those guys were a little bit older than me. And they all started hanging out at my house, and we all became really just the 90s uh, front runners for progression surfing and uh, more than anything Slater was the front runner for you know uh, world titles and all the mainstream with Baywatch and everything else but all of us were on his coattails and kept him uh, in line and kept him you know humble. Awesome okay so your involvement with the film though how did that come about? Well, they came to us, and Taylor Steele was the one that made all the surf movies of us, and that's why it's called Momentum Generation, is the first surf movie he made was called Momentum. So um, he made all these great movies for 22 decades. He made of um, all of us surfing, going around the world, and with great personality and some really, really good insight to our lives. But then these guys came along, the Zimbalist brothers, and are the best documentary uh, um, people out there. And they just told the story exactly how it happened with these beautiful pictures and all this insight. And everyone's so honest in the film that it's humbling. I mean, there, you, you get so much from this film that you're not going to think you're watching a surf movie, that's for sure. Wonderful. Yeah. And what was the experience like then versus now? Everyone has kids. Um, <laughs> I'm the last of the Mohicans with no kids, but um, I think just having all those same um, interactions that we had when we were kids, like we actually still have the same jokes. I mean, we <laughs> people make these noises and you know exactly what that meant from 20 years ago. And they know, I know every single one of them like uh, my brother. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, it's almost gives me chills thinking about um, how lucky we were to have this in our life. And now they made a movie about it that everyone gets to see on HBO and um, December 11th it comes out. Okay, so tell us all about that. When, when can we see it if we want to head on out? It's also oh, going to yeah. be at the film festival. Well, yeah, that's the film festival, H-I-F-F, -F, the mm -hmm. Inter um, Honolulu International Film Festival. And Sunday, 11.30 um, a.m. is the final showing of it. And of the f film festival ends on that day. And it's all free. And you have to go online and... Uh, and reserve a ticket. I think there's a few tickets left, I would assume. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We got to see it in LA last week, and it's an incredible film. So you you got to go see it. Okay, wonderful. So make sure you head on out. Again, these guys, just living legends, such great surfers, and the great video and the story behind it. It's really cool to see. I can't believe it's on HBO. I, I mean, know, you that's, know what I mean? That's like, huge. Been, your whole life, you watch HBO, and you just you can't. I just It baffles me that we're on HBO. And it's now so neat. you're going to be there. Yeah. Very cool. Well, <laughs> congratulations to you and all the guys. 
surprise. Excited yeah. to see Thank it. You. All right, coming up next, today's the day. It's the Aloha Friday fill-up promotion. Chris is live in Hawaii Kai with all the details. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's up, Kelly and Benji? Good to see a North Shore boy and the momentum generation coming back around again. But I'm here in Hawaii Kai, Hawaii Kai Town Center, Keahole and Kalani on Ole Highway, Aloha Gas and Aloha Island Mart. 50 cents off the gallon for Aloha Friday fill-up. When we come back, I'm going to tell you more details. Give away another tank of gas right here on Take Two. Welcome back. Well, if you're in need to fill up your tank for the weekend, me, well, you should definitely take advantage of our Aloha Friday fill-up promotion. I'm going to be there later. Earlier, we revealed our mystery location, which is Hawaii Kai. You can save 50 cents per gallon there for a limited time today. We sent Chris Latronic to check things out for us this morning. Hey, Chris, how's it looking out there? Hey, Kelly, and good morning, Hawaii. We're here in Hawaii Kai, and check out these gas prices. Right now, it's just an illusion. 375 now slash 50 cents off the gallon and you got our Aloha Friday fill up promotion Aloha gas and Aloha Island Mart right here in Hawaii Kai Town Center this is near Outback Steakhouse Roy's you can see uh, we haven't had too much traffic it's actually been flowing pretty well filling up uh, just as people uh, would come in and that so things are looking good you can see uh, we got some some nice cars in the area and we're also giving away some free tanks of gas so we are doing this promotion till 3 o'clock p.m. today you'll save 50 cents off the pump but we also gave away our last full tank of gas. I actually saw Nate earlier. He was filling up one car, and then he came back with another. This is Nate and Adriana Hunter. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. So tell me, you woke up this morning. How would you find out about today's promotion? Uh, so just watching the news, about to head out and do some errands, and uh, saw that uh, the gas station right down the road was had a good deal. Awesome. So perfect. Well, the best deal is 50 cents off the pump, and you even got a better deal. You got a free tank of yeah. gas. So tell me, how much should you save? Uh, I think $36 for the free tank, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe another $10 on the 50 cents off, yeah. Woo! Great. So you got some savings, you got some money to play around with this weekend, or what yeah. are you going to do with that savings? I think we'll go grab some coffees this morning, and then uh, I know the elementary school's looking for some money, so maybe we'll donate some money to the elementary school. Look yeah. at that. Good good people right here giving the money away. Or tell me, ooh, you really want to donate that money? Yes. Okay, good. Good curse. Okay, so things are going good. Saving money, giving away money. Also going to go and get some snacks maybe here. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Sure. Right on. So thank you, Nate and Adriana. You guys have a wonderful day. Actually, what do you guys have planned for this weekend? Uh, well, it's my older son's birthday, so we're going to, you know, have some kids over and then I think go go-karting actually this weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So great, great plan. Have a, uh, tell your son ha happy birthday. Have a wonderful weekend. You guys, uh, thank you for promote, having, uh, helping us with this promotion. Thank, thank you. you. Right on. This is the site right here, Hawaii Kai right. Town Center. You could uh, come here and save 50 cents off the pump right here in Hawaii Kai. This is on Keahole and Kalani on Ole. As for me, Chris Atronic, live in Hawaii Kai. I'll send it back to you guys in the Take Two studio. Awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. And I'm going to be out there just in a bit. All right, well, coming up next, we have your healthy moment of the day and so much more. Stay with us. You know when you're at Ross and you find a deal on cookware that makes you say, yes. Oh, yeah. Bring on the holidays. That's Yes for Less. Everything you need to prep, cook, and serve up the season. It feels even better when you find it for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. Al Phillips now has 10 convenient locations for all your dry cleaning needs. Ala Moana, Bishop Square, Hawaii Kai, Kailua, Kapolei, Manoa, Downtown, Waialai, Waimalu, and Windward Shopping Center. We feature same-day service and alterations. In by 9 a.m., out by 5 p.m., we honor those who sacrifice for us. Discounts for military and uniform clients. Visit our website for the latest coupons. Al Phillips the Cleaner, quick as a bunny since 1969. No need to lose sleep when you can shop Bedmart's Black Friday preview sale. $98 doorbusters and memory foam starting at just $138. Hot buys store wide on pillow tops, adjustable bases, natural towel mattresses, and more, up to 57% off. Be bed smart. Shop Bedmart. My name is Brian Nagai, and I graduated in 1992. The most significant thing I learned at HBA has to be about building character. Having a good set of values, I think, is so important. I think it helped me to adapt to whatever situations. So I think HBA has contributed to my success by showing me that having good faith and a strong relationship with my family is more rewarding than anything else.
Get to New City Nissan, Hawaii's only Nissan Global Award dealer for our annual truck sales event. Take advantage of year-end savings on over 100 Nissan trucks. Big Nissan Titan with America's best truck warranty. You can buy a Titan now for up to $9,000 below MSRP. The popular Frontier. You can buy a Frontier now up to $5,500 below MSRP. Don't miss the big-time savings on Nissan trucks. Get to New City Nissan. 2295 North King Street in Kalihi. You know when you're at Ross and you realize you are the hostess with the mostess? Yes. Yeah, that's Yes for Less. Entertaining style all season long. It feels even better when you find it for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. You're watching Take Two. Welcome back. It is 8.35 now. Time to take a look at our healthy moment of the day. This photo is sent to us by Chris Whitworth. Here's the view that you can get to see from the top of Cocoa Head. Whew, you go, Chris. Chris says it's worth the effort, sweat, and heavy breathing. The satisfaction making it to the top of the stairs is undeniable. Oh, I agree. Well, remember, you can be featured in our next Healthy Moment of the Day. Just send us a photo or a video by emailing it to take2 at k2n2.com or leave a comment on our Wake Up Today Facebook page. Well, can you believe that Thanksgiving is less than a week away? Earlier in the show, we had some turkey tips on cooking that perfect bird. But what about your side dishes? And for me, the most important. Rashi Mabuku joins us live once again from Foodland Farms at Ala Moana with more cooking tips. Hey, Ross. That's right, Kelly. I am just like you. I am all about the sides, from the stuffing to the cream spinach to the mashed potatoes with gravy all over. And then, of course, because we can only eat so much turkey, right? And personally, I'm more of a ham person. And then dessert, don't even get me started. Yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. But let's talk about the sides because we're back with Keone Chang as well as Chef Brian Nagai, who is actually going to be preparing a very special side dish for, like, if you want to take something to someone in your friend's house, correct? Correct. Okay. Thank you. I'm all about the sides. So yes. mashed potatoes, stuffing. So this is a really simple salad that we're going to do. We have just very few ingredients. So first, we're going to add up a little bit of spinach, a little bit of dinosaur kale. I like something with a little bit more hearty okay, crunch yeah. to it. A little healthier too, right? Correct, yes. And then we're going to do some cucumbers, sliced cucumbers. I got some beautiful tomatoes from Haula that just came in. Nice. So just cut that up. And then uh, kabocha. Kabocha. So I just came back from Japan, so like a lot of kabocha I saw. So. I think that's a very local, popular favorite. Correct. For those. It's Japanese squash. Mm -hmm. And it's healthier than regular squash. It is. Less calories if you're worried about that. Correct. Sweetness. All we do is just lightly grill it. If you don't have a grill, you can also roast it in the oven. You okay. can even steam it if you want to. Too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really good. So you want to maybe add a little bit of that. That's a um, feta cheese. Feta cheese. Yep. How much do you want? Right there? I like the feta cheese. Okay, all right, okay. right there. And then this is a simple wafu or Japanese-style dressing. This is just, I made this one. This is shoyu, vinegar, some sesame seeds, sesame oil. You can also buy one from the store if you want to. Like okay. that, if you don't want to really stress out really trying to make a dressing. Like that, because this is all about stress-free, right? Yeah. So, so like for people out there that are stressing out, mm -hmm. How can how can Food and Farms help out? I mean, because you can just come down here, right? Right, correct. You can come down to the Almoana store. We have our special Almoana exclusive Thanksgiving dinner. We're doing a, we're doing a roasted turkey breast along with all the sides for you. We have taro and Yukon potato mashed potatoes. We have lupchong stuffing, cranberries with chili, Hawaiian chili and ginger and uh, roasted carrots, uh, rainbow carrots. And this is all your creation, correct? Correct, yes. And so when do people need to know if they want to put in an order? You can put, order it right now if you want to. We have, we're taking orders up until Tuesday if you want to get it before Thursday. And the lap chong stuffing, that looks, that's your creation? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's just uh, stuffing bread, lap chong, there is uh, shiitake and pepiao mushrooms. Like that real satisfying, real hearty. So let's, um, let's plate this salad. You're hungry, right? Yes, of course. Hey, Keone, for yes. any tips for people that are like stressing out and they but they want to prepare a meal? Oh yeah, so some quick things, right? Make your cranberry sauce this weekend because it'll hold in the fridge. Okay. All the stuff you want to do, like you know, potatoes and all, peel the potatoes in the weekend, put them in water, mm -hmm. and then all your sides you can cook them the day before, so you're just reheating, and all you really have to worry about is roasting the turkey the day of, making the gravy. So if you do it in stages like that. You don't have to think, oh my God, I wake yeah. up two in the morning and I got it. And then you, know, then you can enjoy yourself, have a glass of wine, enjoy your company, and really enjoy the, the, the event and your family. That's the key right there is meal prep, be ahead of time, yeah. so then that way you don't stress out at the end. So can I try this? Go ahead. So the kabocha grilled. 
I love kabocha. Sorry about that. <laughs> Stuffing with the lap chong, Kelly. Amazing. Kelly, I know that you're cooking the Thanksgiving feast. I apologize for speaking with my mouth full. But just remember, you can come down to Foodland Farms, Ala Moana, order the pre-Thanksgiving dinner. It's going to be hot, fresh, and a great deal. And of course, it's done by Brian Nagai, Chef Brian Nagai, who's done it. And it looks amazing. So for more tips, just log on to our website. For take two, we are Chung. sending it back to you because we are going to chow down, Kelly. Thanks, Ross. Oh, love Chung stuffing. I'm dying in here. I'm the biggest foodie. Why don't I ever get to go? Oh, Ross, just eat, eat a bite for me. All right, well, we'll break down the stories you need to know about today and so much more just ahead. Coming back. Your day has plenty of perks. <laughs> Hawaii runs on Duncan. You're watching Take Two. Welcome back. It is 843 right now. Here are the stories you need to know for today. A 76-year-old man is dead after being hit by a trolley in Kaka'ako. Criminal charges are pending against the vehicle's driver. We're told alcohol may have been a factor. We'll follow up with police today. Relief may be on the way for Pua Lane residents. The state health department says it has found the source of the raw sewage that has been leaking onto the private road for the last couple of months. Well, the Rainbow Wahine basketball team will be looking to pick up its first season win of the season today against Portland. This is at the Stan Sheriff Center. It's an early game. Tip off is at 2.30 in the afternoon. Make sure you head on down to the Stan Sheriff Center and support our Rainbow Wahine. And the Aloha Friday fill-up promotion is back. You can get huge savings at the Aloha Gas and Aloha Island Mart in Hawaii Kai. The Hawaii Kai location at 246 Keahole Street. That's the one in the Hawaii Kai Town Center. You can save 50 cents off per gallon now through this afternoon. All right, well, earlier on Take Two, we talked about turkey and, of course, side dishes, but now it's time for the dessert. And you cannot go wrong on Thanksgiving by getting some pie for your family. We're joined this morning by Andrew Chunhori, Operation and Production Manager with the Hawaiian Pie Company. Good morning. Morning. Okay, so happy to have you here because, well, first off, I love your guys' pie, <laughs> but also you're going to be giving us tips on how to make some pumpkin pies. Yeah, correct. So when you're starting, what are the basics? Um, you know, like uh, for, for pumpkin pies, it's very simple. It's a very simple pie to make. And it's all just based off of like what, what you're kind of feeling, right? So like main, main ingredients you'd want is obviously pumpkin. Mm -hmm. um, where you can kind of like take some liberties would be with the spices. You know, some people like more cinnamon, some people like nutmeg, clove, all those different kinds of things. So you can kind of just mix it to your flavor, like okay. however you like it. Um, then sugar, you know, like however sweet you want it, you, you got to have some sugar inside of there. Um, and then it's just simple, you just add cream and uh, some whole eggs, and then you can just mix that up and toss it into a pie shell. Awesome. Okay, you say it's simple, but simple for a professional <laughs> like you. For someone like me who has never baked a pie before, I'm almost embarrassed to say that in front of the master. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, for those who don't you know, necessarily want to risk it because, of course, Thanksgiving and pumpkin pie is a big deal, you guys are offering pies that we could get for Thanksgiving Day, right? Correct. We will be open uh, Tuesday through Thursday next week. Um, you know, you can stop by the shop. Uh, I do recommend that you check out our website, uh, pieandpieco.com. Uh, there's a lot of uh, just, just tips and, and generally like our hours. Um, if you want to pre-order things, we do still have until Saturday to put in your pre-orders for next week. Uh, I, I do recommend that if you're looking for anything specific, um, you know, like a lot of information's on there. Okay, and again, Saturday, you guys, that is tomorrow. So get your orders in now. All right, and it smells so good in here. I'm right next to this pumpkin pie, and it's killing me. I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm going to definitely have to keep this. But <laughs> talk about what's in front of us. What are these little ones that we're looking at over here? They're so All right, cute. So, yeah, these are our mini pies that we offer at the shop right now. Um, right now, we have a wide selection we have obviously our uh, traditional pumpkin um you know just like for one of those like solo sessions that you have you just grab and go eat on the run <laughs> you um, know me <laughs> solo session daily <laughs> yeah <laughs> then we have our double crusted pies and this one right here is our caramel apple you know a, a little twist on the traditional apple um, for those who are you know traditionalists um last last month's flavor of the month we had our blueberry peach which is just very uh 
you know, just blueberries, peach, and then we top it off with a streusel. Uh, oh, basically, it's almost like a shortbread cookie. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally, our most popular one, the Hawaiian Passion Pear, which is um, pear and lily koi puree uh, mixed up as a filling. And then we top it off with our special Hawaiian topping, which is like a coconut butter and topping. And that is one of my favorites as well. <laughs> I love all of your guys' pie, though, but my all-time favorite pie and I don't even get cake for my birthday. <laughs> I get pumpkin pie. Um, this is my fave. So I'm going to take a bite. Go if that's for okay. It. Okay. You, I just you took it. You need the fork if and you then, don't want it. <laughs> I do because I pretend to be civilized. <laughs> Normally, I'd just be grabbing it. But while I take a bite of this, you guys also are going to be having, you have frozen pies available. Uh, correct. We have them available at the shop as well mm. as um, uh, you can find a wide variety of our flavors at Chef Zone. Um, down by the airport and then you can also find us in uh foodland sack and save mm -hmm. as well as safeway mm -mm, keep talking oh, i need keep to keep talking. eating gotcha, no i'm gotcha. just kidding i'm just kidding <laughs> oh this is delicious the crust is so flaky and buttery and the pumpkin pie you guys are so good with the sweets <laughs> it's not too sweet not too unsweet i guess this is oh this is perfect okay ditching the little one i'm taking the big one sorry guys bye so thank you so much for coming in and sharing these delicious pies for us. Again, you guys get your orders in tomorrow with the Hawaiian Pie Company. Oh, so good. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, we have so much more after the break. Stay with us. This portion of Take Two is sponsored by Moorhead & Company. Welcome back to Take Two. Join us for Living 808 at 4 o'clock this afternoon. We've got a great show planned. Yes, that's right. We're going to tell you about the Garden Festival happening at Ward Village this weekend and how Ruby Tuesday can help you feed your holiday guests. Uh, we're also going to meet four more contestants for this weekend's Miss Hawaii USA pageant. Now, we've been getting to know all of them a little better this week, and boy, these girls are impressive. <laughs> yep. The judges have a very difficult job. That's this afternoon at 4 o'clock on Living 808 right here on K22. Kelly! Flying solo, back to you. <laughs> Happy Friday. Thanks, you guys. Happy Friday. Well, it is Friday, which means the weekend so close. And if you're wondering what to do with the Ohana, look no further. We have your weekend rundown. The Pearl City Carnival kicks off tonight from 6 to 11 p.m. and goes on tomorrow and Sunday. Of course, you'll find delicious food, fun rides, and games for all ages. It's all being held on campus of Pearl City High School on the field next to the gymnasium. And over in town, the mayor's 44th annual Crafts and Country Fair is happening tomorrow. This is at the Blaisdell Exhibition Hall. It goes on from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Most of the proceeds benefit local senior clubs. And if you plan on going to the fair, the city is asking people to give back and bring canned goods for the Hawaii Food Bank. Unwanted eyeglasses and hearing aids also welcome for the Ala Moana Lions Club. All right, well, get ready, Hawaii tickets for the next big concert go on sale today. Rappers Snoop Dogg and Cardi B, along with Sublime, are headlining the Dream Weekend. The one-night-only music festival will also feature other special guests who we'll be finding out hopefully shortly. The concert will be held on December 27th at Aloha Stadium. Tickets go on sale to the general public this morning at 10 o'clock. So in just over an hour, this will be on Ticketmaster. So for more information on this, swing by our website, k 22 com. All right, well, I love this so much. Christine was so happy. Christmas it came early for the crew at K22 yesterday. Check it out. We're here to visit K2N and mm -hmm. um, giving them love because they always give love to us. Kings stopping by our newsroom before they headed back home. They surprised the staff, talked story, took photos. <laughs> Look at Christine, I love it. And they even, even brought us dessert. Common Kings will be taking a break until the beginning of next year. They're coming off back-to-back -to -back tours on the road and opening up for Bruno Mars at Aloha Stadium. They may or may not have another special announcement before the year ends though. We'll let you folks know when we get more details. 
But oh, look at, oh, heaven. This is her heaven right here. She is the biggest Common Kings fan and had such a good time yesterday. So big mahalo to Common Kings for stopping by and surprising our crew. So great. All right, well, reminder today, our trade winds are here. They're blowing stronger, building back. Take a look at this, double digit winds. So things are really comfortable, but it's not gonna be a typical trade wind weather pattern day. We're expecting an increase in trade showers. So be prepared for that uptick in at least windward mocha showers, but some of which could spill leeward. Now, right now, our strongest winds coming through for Lihue, 16 mile an hour winds there, 12 for Kahului, 13 in Kailua Kona. So the winds are here and they're here across the state. Now, in terms of the rainfall, though, that's really not here. Take a look island by island. We're definitely seeing some increasing showers for the windward areas at least compared to what we've been seeing the past couple of mornings, but or at least for the past couple of hours. But the isolated showers that we're seeing, not heavy, not widespread. But again, that could change. Make sure you stay with KH12. We'll be giving you the latest updates. Now, we don't have any flood advisories in effect, not needed at the moment, but that could be changing with the instability. Again, we could still see heavy showers. But small craft advisory is in effect. A high surf advisory also posted. Make sure you download our K2 and 2 mobile app. If we have any changes, we'll be sending out push alerts if any of those advisories or warnings get posted. Winds up to 25 miles an hour through the rest of the forecast period, and the rainiest and cloudiest day is going to be today and tomorrow. All right, well, before we go, we have a reminder for you drivers all morning long. We've been telling you about our Aloha Friday fill-up promotion, and here's a live look at the mystery location we revealed this morning. This is the Aloha Gas and Aloha Island Mart in Hawaii Kai. The Hawaii Kai location at 246 Keahole Street. That's the one in the Hawaii Kai Town Center. You can get regular gas for 50 cents less a gallon until 3 o'clock today and only at this location, so make sure you head on out. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Christine will be back on Monday, and I'm going to be eating my pie until then. <laughs> we'll see you Monday. Aloha.